said he received certain offers, but didn't mention a life insurance policy. We know he told his wife he was offered a million dollar policy and told his daughter and son-in-law the same thing. We know the Prime Minister was aware that certain offers were being made to Mr. Cadman by people, as he put it, legitimately representing the Conservative Party. Mr. Speaker, would the Prime Minister not agree from his own life experiences under these circumstances, it's far more likely one would decide to be less clear in a TV interview than with your own wife and daughter and son-in-law. Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister, to the Minister of Public Works and Government Services. Order. The, the, the member from York Centre may want to call Chuck Cabin a liar in what he said on TV, but we won't call Chuck Cabin a liar. He was clear, he was on the record, and he was, he was concise. Mr. Speaker, Chuck Cabin had a record in public life. Uh, both as a member of Parliament and prior to that as he advocated for victims of crime. He had a record unblemished of being a person who shot straight, who was honest, who was straightforward. He spoke the truth in those television interviews. He spoke the truth on the record when he said no such offer was made. We trust Chuck Cabin. We don't trust the Liberals, who again sat on this story for a year. They don't believe it. They're talking about all this righteous indignation. They don't believe what they're saying. We believe Chuck Cabin. We believe that he told the truth. For your center. Mr. Speaker, through all their noise and spin, we know that if with, with what Mr. Cadman's widow, daughter, and son-in-law say is true, this is about offering money for a vote to bring down a government. Buying a vote to bring down a government. Unimaginable, unthinkable, in Canada. This is as serious as it gets. Mr. Speaker, I'm sure the Prime Minister will agree. If this is true, he can only, he must, resign. Order the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary of the Minister of Public Works. Well, it's one thing for a member of Parliament to get in this place and accuse somebody of a crime under parliamentary privilege. If he has the guts and he believes in what he says, say it outside the House of Commons. Exactly. Say it outside the House of Commons. If he really believes he's on the side of the angels on this, he should have the guts to stand by what he says, say it outside the House of Commons, so people can defend themselves against the liberal lies in this mess. Order the Honorable 